up with a big catch. And now it'll be up to John Elway with 5.43 left. Necessary yardage for a first down. It's all in the mark now. Close enough to measure. The Browns are saying it's not there. Hand prediction sickling over to the sideline. You're short by a yard, but I think they'll bring in the markers to measure it. Four minutes, 11. Wasn't it four minutes and 11 seconds to go last week that Kosar found himself 10 points down? That's right. He was 10 points down with two minutes to go. But they got the ball at that four minute plus mark. It is Denver's ball for another four downs. And 88 yards to go. Ooh, boy, Winder hit a stone wall. Anthony Briggs, number 53, one of the men there. He comes out of there with a handful of jersey. Or is that a towel? Second and seven. 3.23 left. Elway's got some running room. And dives out to the 26-yard line. An 11-yard gain. Clock continues to run. Set it up at the beginning of the day. The pressure is on the quarterbacks, and here in this fourth quarter, Kosar has taken his team for the seventh. Elway now, two first downs in this drive, but a long ways to the end zone. Sewell, oh, how did he hang on to it? Steve Sewell at the 48-yard line. Chris Rockins made the tackle with 2.29 left. 22 yards on the play, and now Denver has itself in good field position. It's complete at the 40-yard line to Steve Watson. First down, Denver. One minute, 59 seconds left. Timeout. This man was Ray Ellis of the Browns. Dave 
Pizzulli. Timeout, Denver. One minute, 47 seconds left. And again, you have to ask the question, Dick Enver, how much has that ankle injury to Elway taken out of those quick feet? We've seen him escape so many times during this season from that kind of rush. But on that play with the blitz from the outside, Pizzulli, they call him Glacier. He only moves a couple of feet a year, able to make the stop inside. Complete to Clint Sampson, or Mark Jackson, who was. Mark Jackson, who had a couple of drops earlier. Jackson has a first down. Clock is running. Dick Watson in motion that time. The ball was snapped, actually hit Watson. Elway was lucky to get it. That could have been disastrous. They'll just throw this one away so that they'll have time to collect their thoughts. So on third and 18, Elway is able to drill a 25-yard pass to rookie Mark Jackson. And the drive and the hopes of Denver still alive. Maybe we could go back and see that play so close to disaster as that ball snapped in the shotgun. And Steve Watson, number 81, who'd come in motion, watch him now. As Watson goes across that ball off his hip, and Elway very quickly makes the adjustment and makes the big play downfield. What a critical play. Now that baseball training of Elway, those good quick hands, and then that rifle arm. Second and ten at the 28. Screen to Sewell has blockers. He's inside the 15-yard line. Didn't go out of bounds. Clock continues to run. They'll quickly come to the line. A mistake, I think, by Sewell, who could have gotten out of bounds on that play to stop the clock. Elway's going to have to call it quickly here. One timeout left for Denver. Watson incomplete, covered by Minifield. Cleveland 20, Denver 13. Final minute. Photographers down at that end of the field. Difficult to see the yard marker and the spot, but Elway alertly on second down, getting out of bounds with 42 seconds left. Mike Johnson will be on his back as he leaves the field of play. Short of the first down at the five, third, and one. seconds to complete the drive of the game. 